My name is Omotaya and I am a producer. So why am I single? And uh, that's a question that my mom has been asking me for at least six, seven years now. Um, I guess I'm single because the one has not showed up yet. Yeah. No, you are not the only one to have asked me if I'm single. Right, well, I think that single people are expected to be married because it is kind of a natural evolution. So there is the good part of it where to have children and to continue the population, you have to be married. And there's also something about having companionship that's nice, somebody who's yours forever and ever. But there's also the societal pressure. I think there is a level of maturity that is assumed that you have when you get married because there's more responsibility. Um, when you're single, you're only taking care of yourself. When you're married, you're taking care of more people. So there's just an assumption that you're mature enough to be able to handle more responsibilities. And so if you're single, then it seems like why haven't you reached that level of maturity? Why haven't you crossed that next level? Yeah, I think that's the core of why there's so much pressure. I think that m almost everybody has the desire to have companionship. And I think that sexual desire is linked to the desire to be married. So not everybody wants the commitment and not everybody can handle the commitment. But I found that most people that I've met have the desire for companionship and to be in a relationship with someone who loves them, who champions their cause, who has their back forever and ever. So there's kind of a difference between the desire for companionship and the desire for a committed relationship. There are very many stereotypes against single women and I think that it is unfairly tied to our patriarchal society. So historically when women couldn't work, they needed somebody to protect them. And if you didn't have anybody to protect you, then you were seen as either unworthy, there's something wrong with you, why didn't you find somebody to marry you? There, there's that kind of idea that has then filtered all the way down to even now. Since we're still struggling with some of those cultural leftovers, a lot of women now are having to work harder to prove their value and to prove that they are good enough by themselves, um, which shouldn't be really. Men absolutely face the pressure as well. It's just that it comes from a different perspective. So for men, there is almost the idea of being conquerors, but in one-on-one, -on -one, conversations with men, you realize that they also have that need to have companionship and that need to have someone who they can trust. Men are big on trust and women trying to spend all their money. <laughs> so they're always looking for somebody who can have their back, who can be there for them, someone who they can really open up and be vulnerable with because men are mostly spending all their energy being macho and, you know, proving po points and trying to act like nothing is bothering them. So I feel like with men, have that desire to find somebody who they can actually finally be vulnerable with and not have to do the whole macho front with, yeah. There is absolutely no relationship between marriage and a woman's worth. I think that marriage, however, gives women another opportunity to express a different aspect of our innate nature. So as a daughter, you have a characteristic. As a friend, you have a characteristic. As a boss, you have a characteristic. Like, there are different aspects of our lives. And as a wife, there is a different sphere. So I don't think it has anything to do with a woman's worth, but it is an opportunity to express another avenue, another part of um, a woman's complete identity. I think that there is pressure to get married in every culture and every society. It just takes different forms depending on the culture that you're in. So for instance, in the Nigerian culture, well, in the Yoruba culture specifically, you're supposed to kneel down to show your respect. In other cultures, respect is also demanded. It's just that there you can just stand and say, sir. You know, so that kind of variation is how I see the same pressure to get married. Um, I've, I did my master's abroad for a year, so it was a very short time, but I met people from other races who also felt that desire to be married, who also talked about their age, who also, I met a woman who was in her 40s, who was also going home to cook for her husband and she was as white and Caucasian as it gets. So I've seen that there are parallels. Um, it's just that the cultural pressure the, the negative part i feel is what we seem to have more in our culture the part that demeans a woman's identity because of marriage but the rest of it i think cuts across i do this instagram live chat occasionally called how to be single and the the heart of the whole thing is that singleness is being whole perfect and complete lacking nothing so when we're single we, a lot of us think of ourselves as like kind of being a single broomstick you know like you can't do anything with a single broomstick and so that single broomstick is useless but then if you think about it as a single fruit, a single fruit is a whole fruit. Yes, it's plucked off a tree, but it has the seed, it has the skin, it has the pulp, and it can that one fruit alone can generate the whole forest if you just keep
keep planting the seeds. So as a single person, if you realize that you are whole and perfect and complete, lacking nothing, then you can cultivate your own wholeness. You can work on the places that you are lacking in yourself and rather than needing somebody else to complete you. Like I said, with a broom, you can't sweep with one single broomstick. But if you think of yourself as a full whole fruit, then you are kind of, you're complete and you start to nurture that idea. And so for me as a single person, what I try to do is identify the other aspects of life that make up a full life. So career, friendship, family, faith, um, vocation, hobbies, you know, passion for other things. The more you build up yourself in all the other parts, the more full you will feel, the more fruitful your life will be. And then you can generate your own happiness until you find the other that you're looking for who then complements you. Some of the perks of being single that comes to mind is, first of all, you don't have to run anything by anyone else. You can literally do whatever you want. Um, you don't have to share your finances with anyone else. Your money is your money and your money will do whatever you want your money to do. Um, you can choose, literally there's a freedom. There's a freedom that you just have because you're only responsible for yourself. And I think you can then extend that to traveling, um, deciding to go and see a movie by yourself in the afternoon at a random time. Um, not having any indoors call you to stress you, which is all <laughs> the stress that we hear our married friends kind of go through. You don't have any of that. And then you can also focus a lot on developing yourself without having to consider or be, be stressed out by what somebody else is telling you. So the only voice that you ever really need to be listening to is the voice of your own self. So you can encourage yourself, you can build yourself, you can set your own goals and nothing really can stop you because you don't really have anyone else to consider except yourself yeah i do look forward to being married someday um when i think about marriage sometimes i'm excited sometimes i'm scared because it looks like marriage is compromising and compromising and compromising and i know that it's for a greater good and i know that people are different and but then it's the thing of if you're coming from this place where you've had all this freedom to make your own your own rules and do whatever you want in your life and then having to give all of that up Yes, it's for something really beautiful, but then there's the scary part of wondering if you're going to lose yourself. But beyond that, yeah, I, I believe that there's a tall, dark, fine guy somewhere up there just, just waiting for me to show up. Yeah. <laughs> Being a woman to me means having the potential to birth purpose. Just having immense potential to create anything you put your mind into. I feel like women have the ability to multiply ideas, dreams, money, everything that's given to them. And being able to explore that fully in your career, in your friendships, in your faith, is the biggest privilege I think that we have. And there's something unique about the way women are built, the way our minds work, that just allows you to really thrive in this increase and in this multiplication thing. I think being a woman is really powerful. So when it comes to societal pressure on single women to be married, what I have to say is, look, look, a woman is a human being. She has all the potential to achieve as much as she has room to achieve. Marriage is only one of the many different aspects that she can thrive in. So lay off the women. Let us thrive in our own lanes as we are until we get to the point if we choose to be married. Dear single sisters, dear single sisters, my fellow people, please, while you are single, there is so much to life. Do you have good friends? Or are you still hating on your ex-best friend who did something that you imagined that she did that she really didn't do? Are you still struggling with finances and wishing that you finally find somebody to help you pay all your bills? Are you still struggling in your career? Are you still struggling with your attitude, with your character? Are you still struggling with your faith? Look, there's so many things that we are struggling with that we need to work on. The single period is the time to work on ourselves until we are whole, perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If you think you're lacking something, somebody else is not going to help you kind of acquire it. You have to work on it yourself. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.